Hey everyone, Brennan Snyder here. What's up guys? Hey, Anthony Coviello. <laughs> <laughs> we got that right. And coming Hi, through the door, John, but he doesn't want to be on camera, so it'll just be John Anthony. John never I. wants to be on camera. I know. And Mitchell's here. We how do we mispronounce John's name? I don't know how to say John John's last Winner. Name. Winner? Call him Winner. Winner. Yeah, well, we'll get all the names right going forward. Mitchell's got the best last name. Oh, what's his last name? Gang. Gang? Gang. Gang? He's Mitchell Gang. G-A-N-G. -G. Yeah, gang. How fucking righteous is that? <laughs> I started, see, I started the video off. I dropped an F-bomb. Yeah, yeah right. Right out of the, the gate. Didn't even mean to. I know. Because <laughs> we were talking about the whole, yeah, okay, but anyway, what's our topic today? Uh, topic is, okay, well, we are always getting on the subject of whether Guns N' Roses is a glam metal band. No. I know. And so you're you're flat out no, no. and I'm hardcore yes. They're a rock and roll band. That's and, it. And and John Rock and roll. No, wait, last time you said they were glam metal. No. Well, you, were okay. on, you were on my side. So last we can time. take it as the way as right. they have okay, so let's take two ways to look at it. How they sound. Right. Never sounded glam, but because see, I disagree because with that. Because I, you see the teased up hair, no? you just, you, you group them, you and lump them into a category of saying, well... No, I think, see, I look at glam metal as, it's the sex, drugs, rock and roll lyrics. It's the sleazy, grimy, sound appearance, everything. It's the vocals of Axl Rose. See, when it's I hear just glam, I hear just, I don't know, just a bunch of <laughs> jerk-offs. <laughs> okay, but you listen to Rat. Yeah, Rat, Rat rock and roll. Because <laughs> they're glam metal, hundred percent. No, I, I, I can't. I can't do it. I, I understand no. what you're saying. So I, yeah, I get yeah. It. And I, and and just for for clarity, Anthony is not at all into genre or titling or anything. Music. I've spent just half music. my life being labeled. Right, right, right. And I've I, had long hair most of my life, and yeah. people have labeled me as certain things when I had long hair. Then when I didn't have <laughs> long hair, they labeled me as a, right. As you, you've the, been, you've the, been labeled, they as the labeled me as fucking them. I was right? gonna say, well, you've been labeled as like the alternative guy on the channel, but I, you listen to no, everything. Man. I know Bro, when I when I didn't have when I when I cut my hair, uh -huh. I was people started labeling me as, as a jock. What? <laughs> and this is this is recent. Oh, oh, this and is these are the same like jerk offs that labeled me as a jerk off because I had long hair in high school. Now I'm one. I don't know. What <laughs> so labels are something that bother yeah. me. Greatly because I well, see that it hurts too many people. Too, I, you know, if you I, want to I take agree offense, with that. no, no, I agree. I agree completely with the that, label can be because bad it hurts. It's not about people taking offense. If you take but, offense, that's on you. I just don't want to see people hurt, and it, it's, and I it's get bothersome. that. But in music, personally, reason I like genres is it describes verbally what something sounds like. But that describes what it sounds like to you. That is correct. That's a hundred percent correct. But even if we don't like the term grunge, if somebody Yo, says... Yo, what's up, Sky? <laughs> Hi. Hey, Sky. I got the whole crew going on. I should get you in on this one. What did you come in for? I have... Whoa, Sky. she's opening up her bag. Is that a weapon? Oh, oh, this is the perfect time. So Sky was uh, shopping yesterday. Oh, is that the cock season? This is um, Caribbean... <laughs> Oh, it's real. Cock in shop, right? Season. You too can have your own cock flavored season. Oh my God! I have to go get a bottle. Of this. How great is this? I don't yeah, even want to. I, I don't even want to open God it. God damn! We got cock season. We also have cock flavored soup. Well, it's, it's not as good as cock seasoning. Though. I want the soup. What do you mean, cock soup? <laughs> we can't get in trouble for YouTube from this either. No, it's a product. It's in a, our hands. It's, it's a real product. And they make cock soup. As well as cock, cock seasoning. seasoning. <laughs> so, All this right. is seasoning. Right. That's a label. A label, okay, uh, genres season the music then. Right, if I say that Pearl Jam is grunge, and I know you I, hate that grunge term. Is, they were alternative until it, Mitchell, until they weren't alternative, but right? Did, Mitchell is a good at The term, whether that. we like the name or not, it's like hair metal. I hate that term. However, glam and hair metal are the same nonsense. Yes, that's right. <laughs> But it tells you a time and a period. So you, 1986 so, to 1991. I know what was going on in that time. If the band I came get it, from you're that, right. I can so imagine you, it myself. Grunge is late 80s into mid. Grunge 90s. is some asshole trying to classify yeah. music in. Grunge Compl is the asshole trying to classify it. Comes up, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? I just spoke to one of you all for uh, Dream Line. Line. Uh, Dinosaur, Dinosaur Jr. Right there. Oh yeah, love that. Yep, fully alphabetical. Did you get the new Jay Mascus? 
solo album. I didn't listen to it. Did you listen to it? I like it. I usually like everything Jay does. I've liked Jay solo more than I've liked Dinosaur Jr. Recently. Yeah. Yeah. The last two albums, definitely into the the Jay stuff. Which I think, yeah, it's on your wall. Yeah, you got it. So, So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I understand where everybody's coming from. I just, I can't do it. I don't like it. I never liked grunge. Mm -hmm. I never liked people calling the shit I listen when I, you know, in high school in the 90s. Yeah. Well, early you, 90s you people into, were like oh the stuff i listened to from the 60s yeah. was hippie shit and so you, you're I just, part I don't of the, like any of it yeah and you're you're a few years younger than me so later in the music listening than than i was meaning you got into hip-hop and other stuff and i kind of came just before that where like it was you were rock and that was it you were metal and that was it you're right it doesn't cross over so i never well, experienced I get rock that. and i get metal but then you just start I don't know. It's, it's too much. Mm-hmm. It's rock and roll. The glam it's, shit, rock and roll. Hair metal, rock and roll. But, Might be garbage rock and roll, but it's rock and roll. But hip hop is not rock and roll, and soul it's is hip-hop, not rock and roll. But it's all roll. music. Yes, it's all music. But you still soul have can to be use rock and roll. Labeling. Yes. Calling something rock is yes, still a you're label. Right. But my biggest thing, besides the our back and forth on Guns and Roses, Guns and Roses. Oh, no, we both knew where we were going with that. that was but good. but. Black Sabbath is heavy Black metal. Black Sabbath is hard rock. Yes, that's what I mean. It's like <laughs> these two. I just all your other ones. I everybody can get saying Pearl Jam is not grunge. I could get behind that because I've always seen them. The as biggest just a argument rock band. I'm going to get is by saying Black Sabbath is in metal because all the metal heads need yeah. to have that thing to hold on to as their they, fucking they godfathers metal. are. Yes. Right. Black Sabbath was a blues band who picked up some guitars and played it heavily. But I okay, if you need it as metal, that's fine. War but don't talk shit blues. about other people who just right. say it's rock and roll. So I can't it's say hard it's, rock. Yeah. Just like War Pigs is not metal. So you guys, I don't mean to interrupt. I got a question. Is this all you got used from them? That's what I said, yes. Uh, and you said you had some new stuff? Yeah, on? man. Uh, follow Sky. Want to point this gentleman out to the Dinosaur Jr.? Sure. Thanks, gentlemen. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, there should be uh, as much new DJ as you want. And then I can also order what you don't, what you don't have. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I have yeah. all these ideas in my head. Yeah, things. my brain just Your starts. brain is, is going on about Black Sabbath being rock and, and roll. And I can't stop get the cock, the cock out cock, of my head. Cock flavoring. Man, you got to break that out the next time you got a lady friend with you. And be like, do you need any help? <laughs> oh my God, I'm going next door to buy some of this. <laughs> That's the funniest shit ever. So I, guess, I mean, I don't know. Okay. I, in, I guess you just have to... However you want to do it, it however you want to do right, it. Right, right. But just don't be a dick and don't shove well, your ideas and things down other people's throats. Right, right. We, There's we, no right or wrong. We were having a discussion earlier about what is world music. And there's an idea of what uh, that, that Anything is. from outside of the part of the world that you live, live in is world, world music. music. Right. So you brought up ACDC. They're in Australia. That's it's world music. It's world music. I brought up right? Scorpions. And, and I brought up Loudness from Japan. But world music we, is from Japan. But we were told that's not world music. Now, I also understand, though, there which is... Which is kind of correct. But in the sense of yeah. saying world music, yeah, man, if you're outside of the world that you live Living. in, it's world music. Right. Don't give a shit. There, Don't care. Yeah. There is a sound associated with, with what is what's called music. world music, which to me is simply the integration of a native instrument from your country. Yes. So um, Blackfoot... Southern rock band, but used Indian. You're going to call them rhythm, native music native. when really it's a rock and roll band. It's just rock and roll, it's, but they used. It's just yeah, rock and roll. It is. Like it's, it's for everything. That's right. It's only rock and roll. Stone's got it right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I always find it funny though, because in the middle of videos, we're talking and I'll say something about Guns N' Roses and then you like out of the corner of your mouth say, they're not glam or whatever you say. But this is this is that that side conversation that we've always said we were going to have off yeah. camera, so to speak, to talk it out. But I, yeah, I realize you know you've got it in your head. It's all rock and roll. It's going to be that. I look at it. I I love genres because it tells people things, and um, just on the channel, so that I can tell the viewers who are watching, describe an album, hold up an album, and say this sounds like. You know, that's, well, that's the first thing that turns me off. The minute yeah. somebody describes something, well, this is hair metal, but, done. This is alternative, out. I'm not going to listen to it because of that. So and I don't what, know if that what, makes what me get, the jerk off, but I'm just not get, into it. What would get you into listening to something then? How do you know? Tell me how it moved you. 
So tell me why it will said, do. don't. So if you're gonna say, I oh well, you should listen to this because it's glam. You like glam. So right when I, there, eat eat it. See ya. So when I came, I came in um, early. Or yeah, you know, said this earlier, but I was in on Saturday and bought the new helicopters. Yes. And didn't find anything in the new section. So uh, you know, I picked up the new helicopters. Yes. You remember the title of that? What's the title? I can't remember. But I picked the new it helicopters. Up. Yeah, new one came out 2022, and. I was buying it because uh, Nikki Anderson, is that his name? Yeah, uh, plays drums with Lucifer. I'm liking that. He's writing a lot of the songs that are in there. So I picked this up and it moved me. I mean, it, it just really clicked with me as sounding like some old school rock and roll. I love the keyboards that are in it, the piano that's it's in it. Good record. It is a fantastic record. So if I just, if you had never heard it, if I just describe- Yo, this album rocks. Yeah. Done. That's that's this that's is what a great record. You. This is a great rock record. When you say it's a great rock record, immediately it's going to fall. To me, it's going to fall in anything guitar based or driven. I'm cool with that. This is a funky record. But if, if this is who, who you know some death metal guy that comes in here and tells you that the new Cannibal Corpse is the see again there, there there's a valid point because somebody comes in and says yo the new well also you can tell me the name and I'm going to know who it well, is. Well of course yeah but that's if part you of the tell problem. me the new Cannibal Corpse rocks. I might want to listen to it. Yeah? Yeah. That's all I want to know. Well, luckily, we have streaming and stuff, meaning you can go over, throw it on real quick to hear something. It's not kind of like the old days where somebody was raving about Testament, Practice What You Preach, when I was in early high school, I think. And I thought the album cover looked cool, and I went and I bought it, but I had never heard thrash before. I only knew glam metal. That was not what I was expecting, and I absolutely hated it. So you weren't a thrash fan. I was not a thrash, I love thrash. fan. But, you but know, again, here you go. There's me using a label. I love yeah. thrash, man. Yeah. It's awesome. But thrash, I don't think is rock and roll. It's all rock and roll to me. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. There you go. It's it's just, it is what it is. You know, it's all rock and roll. It's all music. It's right? all music. And as long as it moves you, it's, that's, that's all it. that matters. And don't, don't be a jerk to other yeah. people because they're not into the shit that you're into. Right. Have some fun breaking balls. Right. Don't look at somebody and say, oh, you just you must be a moron because you don't know. Right. Stop. Exactly. That's half the reason I don't like genres because certain genres have those kinds of assholes. That's so true. I relate certain true. genres to certain assholes <laughs> because right. of that. That's true. That's true. Well, and there's certain, we've talked about this one, there's certain uh, fans of bands that are asshole fans. Yeah, dude, just don't be an asshole fan. Like yeah. what you like and let people like what they like. And if they don't like it... And remember, it, the yeah. person who likes one certain thing might be 20 or 30 years older than the next person. That was your shit. It is not their shit. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing as projecting your family issues well, onto your fucking kids. It's not their shit. It's your shit. It, you deal with it. Period. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, keep your fucking Pink Floyd and keep your Beatles. Right. Just because somebody 30 years younger isn't into it, leave them alone. Be Beatles were... Don't shove it in their face. Yeah, the Beatles were a thing at the time, and I get it, in the 60s, that was a major thing. And they broke a lot of ground. Hugely important. But... But that doesn't make it okay it that you think everybody should be a Beatles fan. Right. Sit down, play with your cock, and, <laughs> and you know, everything's the, okay. And, and apply some seasoning, make it better. I get so I just I get so angry over some of these things because I well, just, you, I still see and, and you relive do, these yeah. people. And, and you deal with it more on a basis, especially here. People coming in, there's certain people that are diehard Beatles fans. I know that have like lost their shit when you say you're not really a Beatles fan. Yeah, and so I and guess I just want to get in your head and say, yeah. why is it not okay right. you, to you for me? And, to just not be into it. Right, and I've heard people come and do the same thing with Prague. You're not a big Prague person, and they just lose their shit with it. And then yeah. they want to try to tell you that you haven't listened to the right albums, and that you've got to try these things, and I hate that. That's my biggest yeah. thing. When I say I'm not into them, and then people try to say, oh, you need to listen to this, or you should try this, I just, no. Like fucking classical, you I didn't mean, listen to right classical. Doesn't matter, Right. Doesn't I don't want to listen to it, Right. period. I, if I tell you right. I'm not into it, Right. shut up. It should, Period. That, that Let be, it go. That it's should, done. That should be the end of it, right? Yo, I'm not going to try to make you listen to PJ Harvey by forcing to to bring you my love down your what? throat. What? No, right. you don't like it. Cool, man. Hey, maybe it'll hit you one day. What I don't get, though, is why some people need other people to like what they listen to. Yeah. I don't care if anyone What do you need to be it? justified yeah. for? I, I mean, I get it. We no, all need right. to be... <laughs> right. um, you learn how to justify yourself validated. to yourself. You need to be validated, right? Validate. Validate I, your self... 
That'll take your existence up, to, to happiness. But I, yeah, I gave up on that a long time yes. ago. You know, I used to, when, when when the whole alternative rock thing and quote grunge and all that stuff broke, you know, glam metal was not it. I was still buying it. I go up to the counter in 1992 to buy my new, new Def Leppard album. You get all the little snickers from everybody laughing, you know, because it's not the, the cool it thing. Yeah. That bothered me at that time. You know, 1992, I would have been, you know, a sophomore, I think, in high school. Now, I don't care. I yeah. care less, but I'm older. But it's and also 2024, that. and the good thing is... Yeah. Nobody laughs at anybody Any, anymore yeah. for, for liking what they like. Right. But you still have assholes who, mm -hmm. who kind of crap on you. And you know, most of them are the for liking what For not liking what they like. Well, what I'm realizing is most of those those jerk fans are older people. And it's I'm not necessarily like the, older um, than me, but there's some my age and stuff. What I mean is I don't think I've experienced that from any younger no. music fans. And remember, that old regime is dying. Yeah, yeah. Goes with every other part of the world, right? Yeah, politics, all that shit. It's all the old guys you think are ruining everything, yeah, the, which they probably are. They're fucking dying. So, give it time. You got to sit it out for a couple <laughs> more years, and then we might be right. all right. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. And think then, so. and a bunch of other old guys are going to take over, but the, they're old right. guys with a different set of yeah, which I never have understood. And I don't want to get into politics, but why do we let all these older people? address things for the younger people. Just like the Beatles and Pink Floyd and Prague fans. Stop yeah. addressing my life because that was your life. That was yeah. your life. Right. You know what? The Beatles may have inspired all the artists I listen to. Awesome. Right. That doesn't mean I'm going to like that well, shit. Yeah, that's... Well, it's like uh, the Rolling Stones and even Black Sabbath here, as you're saying. Blues bands, right? Yeah. Fleetwood Mac starts as a blues band. I don't like the blues. And so I look at who those artists are. Those bothers me made, greatly, but I'm not going to be a jerk yeah, to him about it. Right. If those artists have decided to make blues albums, like Aerosmith made their Honk and All Bobo album. I freaking hate it. It's not for me. I don't like the blues. I love Aerosmith. Well, you know what? It's because you haven't heard this blues. That's right. <laughs> right. I haven't listened to, to John Lee Hooker or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. And, and I have come around to certain yeah. stuff, but I've done it on my own. And the more people try on to force my, it, oh. yeah, try to force it down my throat, I don't want to do it. Man. And then sometime it pops up in a movie or something, or it's you're playing it overhead. Nina Simone, I was resistant to that, didn't care about it, wasn't even going to explore it. And you were playing some, and a song came on which the Black Crows had happened to cover, so I knew that at least. And it was Ann Peebles. Oh, Ann Peebles, okay. And, and boom. Yeah, and boom, I was like, this is pretty good. And I'd already been listening to some of it, didn't know what it was. But once I heard that song, I said, oh, I think I got to give it a shot. Then I went home and told my mom about it. And I was just like, yeah, n never in a million years would I have ever thought I would give that a shot. Because it hits you at different times. But nobody was trying to force it down my throat. It was playing in the background. And then I recognized something in it. And I was able to go up and ask you. And then I can check it out. Yeah. All right. So in closing, guys, basically our motto that always goes around don't, be, Don't a be a dick. If it moves you, that's all that matters. That's right. That's all that matters. And the good thing about 2024 is I know all it, the, the youth, the, the younger kids that come in here today, that's all I, that's I have how to, they believe in. Yeah, and I have to say that, that the one cool thing about the youth and what's going on is that genres don't matter and they listen to everything 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 and i i don't know if i could be into all of it but it's cool that they've been brought up and raised in an era to, that allows that yeah it's that open it is now cool to like everything hip-hop pop rap soul we grew up in what? an era when it was just you had to it was pick rock or metal or what yeah, you you were not yeah you could i not. had them all and it, it definitely yeah. I, it I, outcasted me from certain things but yeah. I think the fact that I didn't let it bother me was why I was still accepted by each one. Sure. Yeah. Cuz it was it was a I mean and, high school was probably, a lot of segregation yeah, and probably because you also weren't an asshole about it. No, I wasn't an right? asshole you, about you it. You could be in, in you know friends with different uh you know fans of music and stuff because you just enjoy the music. Yes. Bottom line guys, enjoy the music, just love the music and the music. that's it, right? Punk. Guns N' Roses is not glam. <laughs> Black Sabbath is heavy metal. Don't forget your cock seasoning.